the town which boasts beautiful sceneries including the great Kavango River and vast lands has full potential to flourish. Nkurenkuru was declared as a settlement in 1999 before its proclamation as a town in 2006 and the town has now opened its doors for economic and infrastructure development to uplift the town's development. Its chief executive officer Pietro Sindiba says development of the town will bring about the much needed job opportunities and economic emancipation. When Kurenkuru was proclaimed as a town, we find people were living there before it became a town. Now for us to move those people to pave way for the development that are coming in our town, we cannot just tell them to leave but we have to compensate them first in terms of the compensation policy. So that is one of the most challenges which we are having. We don't have also money for compensation. The town has allocated a number of plots for both residential and business purposes, while affordable houses are also being constructed. We have got vast of economic opportunity that potential investor can come in and invest. If I may mention some or few, there is a po uh, an opportunity for commercial properties and housing development. There is an opportunity for tourism and hospitality industry. By that, I meant the establishment of hotels, lodges, and conference facility. So there is also an opportunity in Nkurenkuru for the establishment and development of agro industries and the processing plant. So the other factories and industry are also welcome. We have also the opportunity for private hospitals and clinic and even private VTC and the ICT centers. So there is a lot of opportunity in Nkurenkuru. The town is situated some 135 kilometers west of Rundu and is strategically located along the Kavango River, which links the two Kavango regions, Oshikoto and Ohangwena. Ndapandashuya, NBC News, Kurenkuru.